All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the big boy district. Holy shit, I didn't even like do a countdown. I didn't plan this intro out or anything. I just hit the record button. So um, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, we're getting better at this. I can just feel it in my bones. How are you doing? Um, um, shit, I have newly developed stage fright. We're getting worse at this, actually. Never fucking uh -huh. mind. Um, um, we have we have established a uh, a track record on this show where we just have legitimately no fucking idea how to do an intro or, or an outro really there's just something about both of those things where it's just it's like hard to it's it's hard to get in and then it's well, hard to let can, go we can never do an outro because you always insist on like just keep you keep set you you do this thing. And you're like, all right, we're we're, we're done, but I'm gonna keep talking as if we're not. It's like like a midwestern mom trying to leave a party, and it takes like five fucking hours. It's because I it takes me a while to like develop the passion, but when the passion's there, I I don't. But want to let it go the passion the passion you can't develop the passion for recording our fucking series at the last minute <laughs> like develop the passion as we're talking that's what i do and then when it happens it's like magic in the air and then it's like all right i'm flowing i'm i'm going over the the rainbow not the not the pride rainbow the rainbow of like achievement and and uh outstanding comedy podcasting um, no, you're not. Do you think if we had like a bigger following, we could, we could actually get like invited to the comedy awards? Um, if we had a bigger following, I probably wouldn't be making this because I don't like that amount of attention. Kind of same, actually. That's like I've always kind of thought about that. Like that part of the reason I like doing this is because we don't have a big following, and the few people that that are. Are, are the right types of people. They're not going to, you know, freak out and be like, oh my God, cancel these guys. Jesus. Hitting that young cancel button. But I was... My name is Bass. Wait, what? <laughs> my name is Bass. Bass? Yep. Bass. Oh, that's pretty cool. My name is Bodie. According to some people. See, my name is Cody, but, like, it's... People, like, it's not a very nicknameable name. So people have to kind of just work with that. And at the end of the day, I'm just like, look, man. Trying to come up with a nickname for me is kind of like being a guy and trying to type out, like, a Tinder bio. Just don't do it. Yeah. Just yeah, avoid true. it. I mean, I've always called you Toady behind your back, but... Granted, I think Chody, that's a good one. Chody, Chody's pretty funny. That was a middle school nickname. This dude called me Chody, and he was like, "Wow, sorry, that was an accident." And I was like, "I don't, I don't think so." But look, man, it's a good one. I'm not gonna fight you on that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I catch myself jokingly calling myself Chody, and I'm like, "What the fuck am I doing?" <laughs> <laughs> that's like if that's. Oh, I think we discussed this on a previous episode with the joe biden episode but i'm pretty sure that's our ship name oh yeah it is yeah that's what we named the our character in the joe biden uh romance game love love joe biden you gotta love joe one of these days i'm, I'm gonna have to like youtube how that game ends i'm kind of curious it does end. that'd be that'd be even more funny it's just a constant like loop of romance like dark souls I, new game it, plus it took up a weird amount of memory on my computer so or storage i mean so i i definitely uninstalled it the second we were done it took that's, up like four gigabytes and i was like what the fuck that's weird it must have been really long <laughs> like that's not big for a game nowadays but that's definitely big for a fucking like you know what I'm, oh no that's def it's definitely big for like a fucking um like text to fucking speech game all right i 
have so this is a, i guess this is the big topic of the episode it's not really that big of a topic but i i was going through the the analytics recently for for the the just the channel in general which i never fucking do because it's it i just don't care but everyone's always talking about analytics and you know connecting with your audience and you find out who's watching your shit and when they're watching it and and then build some kind of engagement with that i don't, I don't know i don't but I, I i started looking through all the analytics and all the numbers and shit and uh most of our audience is obviously in the United States, and uh, there was not a lot of, of shit to go on based on race or gender. Um, they do have those those things listed, but I guess like our following isn't big enough, so they're like, sorry, we don't we don't fucking know. But we apparently have a obvious. This is ob also pretty obvious. We have a vast majority male audience. But there are a few women in there. And when I saw that, I was I was kind of taken aback. <laughs> yeah, Cody, so for those of you who don't know, um, Cody is still a virgin and he's very scared to talk to women. So if you're either of those two women watching, please, please comment your name, number, and address. Oh, I've never even hugged a girl. My, uh, I mean, I mean, my my girlfriend has to be extremely respectful of my boundaries, and there are I mean, there are a lot. I've, ne <laughs> I've never I've never hugged a girl either. I actually uh, reproduce like a fish, so I let the woman ovulate onto my bed, and then I jerk off onto the ovulation. <laughs> what do they call that? That's there's got to be like a name for that move, that particular maneuver. I mean, it's a real thing that fish do. Fish reproduction. We call game? this the we call this the strawberry sunset, or fucking God. That was it's kind of a beautiful and uh, transcendent way of describing something so gross. <laughs> it's it's just called fish reproduction. So I guess that's the name of my only sex move. Hey, baby, you want to go home and fish reproduce with me? <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy you dinner if you're on your period. A little added bonus. <laughs> but anyway, what I was... What I was... <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a fucking terrible segue this is going to be. But what I was what I was getting at was uh, I wanted to reach out to our woman audience and, and develop a, a closer engagement with, with them and, and make, make them feel more welcome and at home. After we just yeah. talked about that whole fucking <laughs> fish, yeah, yeah. fish, fish, whatever, fish reproduction. Yeah, how do how do we reach out to them? Uh, we could talk about like like fashion and stuff. I like, actually, I was thinking we could just get we could just you know do a little like debate, and this is a a, a big debate that um that is constantly brought up regarding women everywhere. And it's uh, something I think that uh, would be engaging and something that everyone around the whole world would probably like to hear about. So, uh, what do you prefer, ass or tits? Uh, definitely tits, because tits don't ever smell bad. Ass sometimes smell bad. Damn. We're a, we're a dying breed. We really are. Because I'm a tit man, too. Don't get me wrong, ass is great, but... I don't know. I, I just, I can't really explain it. I was expecting that to be a debate for some reason, but we instantly agreed with each other. So I guess I should, I should switch sides here. Uh, I'm an ass man now, and I would like oh, you yeah. to pre present your argument first while I come up with mine. <laughs> Um, I just did. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, ass, sometimes ass smell bad. Tits never smell bad. But... Um, <sighs> yeah, you can't come up with anything to refute that. I know. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> <laughs> I'm coming because off. Because there's, both because there's nothing to refute and because you're a man of subpar intelligence. <laughs> I, I, I'm coming off as like an ass hater, but like, it's just not true. But no, like, there's just wrong. there's. I like, I like me a pretty ass. 
there's just something about big ass boobs <laughs> that just fucking that just I don't know that just does it. You know what what like what kind of a like what like a kind of a chick who always has big tits? Girls named Raven. Why do chicks named like Raven? Raven? Don't you ever just see it like a like a chick with big tits and you're just like that's so Raven? I've only actually ever met one girl named Raven and um, I'm pretty sure she does OnlyFans now. Because she has giant honking tits. Yeah, she does. <laughs> I won't lie to you. At least direct on this. Oh, here's a good topic. Name one fucking memorable moment from Avatar 2. Um. <laughs> shit. Uh, they said cuz a lot, like. Every ten seconds, cousin bro. Uh, <laughs> they actually, how they did actually. I watched this uh, fucking movie like two weeks ago, and then promptly like forgot the whole thing. Like it was just like, it was just gone. My brain fucking deleted the movie. And it's not that it was bad. I didn't dislike no, it. I, I disagree. It was bad. <laughs> I remember, like, as I was watching it, there were, like, I was like, okay, that was pretty cool. The special effects are, are good. The CGI looks good. The pl I, I really don't f remember the plot, like, at all. And even while I was watching, I don't think my brain was registering the plot. Did that movie have a plot? Or was it literally just fucking, all right, uh, blue people unite. We're going to the water. And we're going to fucking <laughs> swim and and just enjoy the wildlife and the animals and then the they recasted the same fucking bad guy because i don't know why they did that but whatever i just forgot the whole fucking movie i could not remember a damn thing about it when i was finished watching it i remember when they, i thought the turquoise avatars were cool but then the theater people kicked me out for wanking it to him <laughs> I hate the, um, what were those fucking, like, actually, I'm thinking of a completely different movie. Never mind. But yeah, I just, I could not, like, remember. It was so weird. I've never watched a whole movie, and, like, I actually sat there and paid attention. Like, I wasn't on my phone the whole time or anything. I actually fucking sat there and watched it, and I just didn't retain it at all. It was gone. The shit was, it was just, it was in one ear and out the other. And all I could remember was like, yeah, Jake Sully, and they brought back the fucking evil colonel. Granted, the evil colonel, he was a good bad guy in the first movie, cause he, just because he was funny. He was literally, like, committing mass genocide while he's sitting up in his helicopter with a cup of coffee. And I think he literally says verbatim, today is a good day. <laughs> As he's just mowing. I don't even remember that much about the first movie. All I remember is when they're, like, coming in with their, their helicopters and they start blowing up the fucking prayer tree and then all the blue people start crying. I, um, I remember pretty much everything about the first movie, but that was because I was, like, obsessed with it as a kid because I was one of those, admittedly one of those people that was like, I really want Pandora to be real. <clears throat> Were you one of those people that had Pandora dysphoria or whatever? No, no, but I definitely, I definitely watched the movie a bunch of times. When I was a kid, I had mummy dysphoria, because I, I was really sad that Rick O'Connell wasn't real. I'm just joking, I, that wasn't a thing. But that, I, I do remember watching the mummy movies, and then, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure I, like, asked my parents if it was a true story, and when they said no, I was, like, really fucking bummed. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> you're, you're telling me and then they were like yeah no no that's an actor his name is brendan frazier i was like what no 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 that's rick o'connell don't fucking so, talk kind of, shit kind of pivoting into a random little topic i just thought of um what's what's a movie that everybody like like a very classic movie that everybody everywhere has seen but you have never seen uh, who? I mean, uh, Ca I don't know if this is like. I feel like yeah, this probably counts. Casablanca. I've never fucking seen that movie. Oh, yeah, Casablanca. For me, it's. 
For me, the first thing that comes to mind is the Indiana Jones series. I've never seen any of those. Oh, wow, really? Yeah, yep. which is weird, because I'm a big Star Wars fan, so you'd think I would have been into that, too, but... Yeah, George yeah. Lucas worked <laughs> on those, too. Yeah, Luke, well, those are the only other films that Lucasfilm ever produced, pretty much, and they, fun they made just, like, a lot of money. Fun fact, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is uh, Steven Spielberg's favorite movie that he ever made, and he said it's the only movie he ever made that he wouldn't change anything about. And it's a really, really good movie. I Raiders of the Lost Ark fucking slaps. That movie's awesome. I, and I thought about that because <laughs> the dial of whatever is coming out or already came out or whatever and everybody hates it. And the new Indiana Jones movie. And I was like, yeah. I mean, modern Lucasfilm kind of just doesn't know how to make movies. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Sorry, I just belched into the mic. This episode is for the women, and I just I just openly belched into your ear. I'm sorry. Happy yep. International Women's Day. Yep, happy women's... Or happy Pride Month, I guess. Should we replace Pride Month with, like, Women's Month? <laughs> I think both of those... I think Women's Month already exists. Really? I think so. Well, I mean, they have, like, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Should we convert that Same into thing. Women's Month? We could just group... It's, it's already close enough. We could just group all of women's issues into one month. Rape Awareness Month. Um, <laughs> um, boob, boob Cancer Month. Um, <laughs> just Cancer Month. <laughs> <laughs> women's Cancer can Awareness Month. Women's Cancer Month. For ovarian and breast cancer, I guess. I tried to play, so this is just totally unrelated to our very pro woman rant here. But I tried to play Minecraft the other day, and I just I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to play that game again. Is it because they keep like? hyping up these updates and they're like here comes the big update and then they out they only add like one new block and like fucking a piece of string to the game no it's just it's one of those things where it's just like i just played it too much like there's only one other game i have more hours in than minecraft i have like probably like if you if you totaled all of the time i've spent since i was like 11 playing minecraft it would probably be, like, a whole last, like, three weeks straight out of my life. Probably same. Not, I don't know about with Minecraft, but there's definitely games like that where I've sunk just probably hundreds, if not thousands of hours into throughout my life. How I, I many would... hours are in... I can actually tell you because I know exactly... Okay, so I was way off. Um, there's 168 hours in a week. I have, across many platforms, over 2,700 hours in Minecraft. Oh, shit. So, that'd be 16 weeks, dude. I have four months of my life just dumped into Minecraft. Damn. At least... And that's why I, that's why I reproduce like a fish. <laughs> <laughs> So Discord wants me to do this thing where it says react with sounds, and I'm, I'm tired of looking at it, so... Actually, hold on, let's give it a shot here. Cool. Alright. Just... Cool, now we, we have our own little soundboard now. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually pretty dope. No fucking way, I could just be like... I could, I could like tell a joke and do this perfect all right i'm gonna keep my fucking finger on that shit i I'm, i got this fucking thing ready all right cool tell a joke real all right. quick all right so what did um and then yeah nice <laughs> <laughs> I remember one time i uh I 
went to the hospital to visit my grandpa when he was dying of cancer and he was uh, like laying in the hospital bed and I was, I was just kind of like standing there by myself and looking back at him and he just you know looked all just just looked like a husk of his Wait, looking, of his former looking, self looking back at him like you like you had your butt facing him and you were like <laughs> looking back at him <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was hoping that sad horn would be like a lot sadder, <laughs> but it was wah, literally wah, wah, wah. wah. Okay, that was fun while it lasted. Thanks, Discord soundboard. I'm probably never gonna fuck with that ever again. That's gonna get real annoying real fast if I keep. <laughs> this is actually pretty game changing. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so. Here's a here's a good topic. What's your take on the Titanic submersible that went missing and everyone fucking um, died? I feel bad for the people that died, obviously, but also, like, I don't know. If you're going to go that deep underwater in something that the guy proudly states is, like, not safe, then I don't know what to tell you. I, I, yeah, th I love this dude's attitude about how he was just like, why is this industry got to be so safe? Okay. Doesn't this just suck for everyone? I, I'm tired of all this safety shit. So he, he was, he was so outspoken about how much he hated all the safety regulations going on. And it's like, dude, like, why, why are you trying to cut corners like this? Like, the whole thing just kind of came off as, like, a scam directed at billionaires. Because the the whole, like, construction process and the whole way he went about it was just so goofy and corner-cutting. I was like, dude, why are, why are you doing this? I mean, obviously, greed, and he's just trying to just, you know, fleece a buck. But, I don't know. It's such a, like, generic story of just, like, what happens when people... Are, are just too dumb and greedy and arrogant and they just go about things without, uh, you know, putting effort into it. It's nuts. I feel really bad for that, like, 19-year-old who died because, the, like, I, apparently the only reason he went on that stupid trip was because his dad wanted him to go because it was Father's Day and he was like, oh, let's go on this, this fucking harebrained Titanic voyage. And, uh... Now they are one with the Titanic. Yeah. I had to explain to someone at work <laughs> that they, she was literally like, so why don't, why didn't they just open it and swim up? And Oh my I, fucking god. I was like, first of all, <laughs> they, they were down like something like four and a half miles. Like, you can't hold your breath for that long. And second, there's this thing at the bottom of the ocean called pressure. Does she not, like, yeah, she doesn't understand, like, sea pressure. She doesn't understand the bends. She doesn't understand, like, oxygen supply. Like, the fact that when you're, when you're coming up from, like, the deep sea, you have to take, like, little intermittent breaks so that you can decompress. Because if you don't, your body will fucking explode. <laughs> Well, and then also, not only that, the goddamn thing was bolted shut. I can't remember, like, didn't somebody, like, some expert that looked at that, they were like, yeah, the, the bolts were on, like, way too tight, and you're not supposed to do that because it can cause, like, really catastrophic pressure problems. Well, yeah, because it can cause cracks in the hole that you're tightening yeah. it into. Like, have you ever... Have you ever tightened a screw too tightly and then the piece of wood you're tightening it into starts to crack? Yep. <laughs> yeah, just like just like that. <clears throat> but then also, I had to explain to her, I was like, they didn't even know anything was wrong. Like, they were just cruising along and then they got crushed into a million pieces. Yeah, they were just cruising along with their Nintendo 64 controller. Just kind isn't of... That kind of isn't that kind of wild that that's like standard practice? That controller was really funny. Like, when I saw that controller, I kind of wanted to die. I, everyone was saying, it's a PS5 controller, and I was like, no, it is not, dude. A PS5 controller would look way sleeker than whatever the fuck that GameCube-ass-looking shit is. <laughs> like, 
I'm not going to lie, like, this is definitely a segue into a completely different topic, and we kind of talked about it before, but the PS5 controller might be my favorite controller ever. Yeah, me too. I really like it. I'm I'm glad that they made it bigger than, like, the past controllers, because, like, I've always preferred Xbox controllers, just because they're, they just feel a little bit better in my hands, because they're a little bigger, but the, the PS5 controller is perfect. Yeah, I, I still think that the Xbox controller is slightly more ergonomic, but I just really don't like asymmetrical uh, sticks. You, st you still there? Uh -oh. oh, sorry, I had to mute for a second. I was like, oh no, old Cody died. Oh no, he, he was under the seat. He kicked his mic again. <laughs> I did that twice in the last one. Fucking twice. And then I uh, had to edit everything together because I was like, whoops, oopsie daisy. I'd be oopsie dazing all day long. So. I had this topic written down before, like when this was an actual thing, but now it's not. Uh, the the Elon versus Z Mark Zuckerberg fight, and I think the oh, did Elon did Elon already back out? He did, and his reason for doing it is pretty funny. He uh, he backed out of the fight because his mommy disapproved. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. Yeah, like I mean, I don't like Mark Zuckerberg, but Mark Zuckerberg would have ate him for breakfast. I actually would have been kind of curious, because, like, Elon Musk is, like, that, that dude's built, like, a 1950s GM refrigerator. And then Zuckerberg yeah, you, is, you like... Know, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Zuckerberg, I feel like, is kind of more serpentine. Like, he's he's got kind of a... He's got kind of, like, a snaky kind of, kind of shit going on. But I don't know. Well, I'd, I'd you, be curious. You know that Mark Zuckerberg is actually like a trained like MMA fighter, right? Oh, he is. Yeah, he tra should... he trains all the time. Why does he look so like? No, nah, dude, look up a picture of Mark Zuckerberg like shirtless, like like that's a weird Google search, but he's ripped as fuck. All right, I'm gonna do this, Mark. Again, sorry that my typing is... People who watch me type on this shit have got to be like, what is this guy's fucking problem? Why don't his hands work? But the, the fact of the matter is, my, I have my shit set up in such a weird fucking way. And then... Everyone's like, oh, why don't you just get a bigger desk? Yeah, maybe I fucking will get a bigger desk. Why don't you just get a bigger dick? I would be afraid of what would happen if my dick got any bigger. It would. I would have to like stuff it into my shoe. You might. Act, you might actually get to hug a girl. I have to have a what? <laughs> you cut out. <laughs> you. I, was, I said uh, you might actually get to hug a girl. Maybe if, as long as she could like hug me around my giant penis. <laughs> Okay, where is Mark Zuckerberg? How come he's not shirtless in any of these pictures? What the fuck? Okay, I'm just getting... God damn it. That's Mark Wahlberg, Google. What, you think I'm stupid? I can't uh, find a single picture of this guy with a... Okay, there he is. Yeah, I mean, if that's actually a picture of him and not a Photoshop, I mean, he's very, very average. I'm... But I mean, I... I know, I know for a fact he does train to fight. Like, he's a pretty fucking, like... He's pretty athletic. I can't... I almost want to say this has got to be a Photoshop, because, like, if that's actually him, I mean, I, I look better than that. <laughs> I don't know. I saw a picture Who's going this? around when he was, like, still they were still talking about the fight, and Is everybody it? was like, yeah, Mark will kick your ass. Wait, that's Bon... I found a picture of Bon Jovi. I don't know where I don't know what my point is. I don't know what I'm trying to land on with that. <laughs> is that Adam Sandler? Yeah, and it's just it's just like, oh, you want shirtless men, huh? No, no, <laughs> no. Okay. So what's what? What's your favorite Jewish holiday? 
uh, I guess Hanukkah because that's the only one that I know. I like I like Rosh Hashanah, but I, I I got a bit of a soft spot for Yom Kippur. Are you Jewish? Mm. No. <laughs> I was like, how do you know about this? <laughs> Sometimes I uh, I like to fuck with people, and if they if they say a Jew joke, I'll I'll look at them real cold in the eye, and I'll be like, I'm Jewish, and then I'll just hold that stare because like they always just start laughing because they're like, oh, he's just joking, and I am, but I'm not gonna let them know that. So I like hold the stare and I like look at him like, watch what you fucking say about my people, you anti-Semite piece of shit, and then I'm like, yeah, I'm just joking. Your mic cut out right there, but it sounded like you said, "Watch what you say about my pee pee." Watch what you say about my pee pee. Yeah. True. This is like this is the sec this is the second topic in a row where my penis has come up. So I guess it's pretty hard to ignore. It's fantastic. I guess like we're we're gonna have to talk about my dick. Should I? I'll, I'll put it up on the big screen. Please don't do that. Seven and a half inches. <laughs> Soft, hard. hard, definitely. <laughs> I was gonna say I was about to be sincerely impressed with you. Fucking motherfuckers packing an anaconda down there. So um 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 okay, go ahead. I said what I said. On this day in history, G.G. Allen died. I don't know who that is. That's all right. That's actually a good. That's that's gonna lead us into a pretty good bit. So I am just gonna Google G.G. Allen, and honestly, I might just like read little tidbits from his Wikipedia page, and then add add whatever I want as I as we go. Right, donate. Fuck you, Wikipedia. You're not getting donations. How do I get rid of that? There we go. All right. Ah, here we go. I don't know where to even begin here. Here, we'll start with his early life. All right. G.G. Allen was born Jesus Christ Allen at Weeks Memorial Hospital. So, yeah, his, his real name was Jesus Christ Allen. That is what his parents named him. Uh, during early childhood, Alan's older brother Merle was unable to pronounce Jesus properly and called him Gigi, which is how he got the name Gigi. How do you not, what, how come he couldn't pronounce Jesus properly? Did he like not have lips or something? Jesus? Alan's family lived in a log cabin with no running water or electricity in Groveton, New Hampshire. His father was an abusive religious fanatic who threatened his family with death, digging graves in their cellar and threatening to kill the or threatening to fill them in the near future. What a cool guy. In an essay titled The First 10 Years, Alan wrote that Merle Sr. wanted to kill his family in a murder suicide. Uh, he despised pleasure and allowed his family very little contact with others. They lived a primitive existence and were more like prisoners than a family. Uh, Alan also Wait, stated... Just, just, gonna, just gonna interrupt you right here. How did dudes like this get married? And like start families? Uh, it's, uh, the answer is, is dark and sad. <laughs> they, did he rape her? I mean, I'm sure he probably did at some point, but I mean, the the gist of it is that guys like that just find people that are vulnerable and mentally unstable and uh, have lots of issues of their own, and they prey on that, and that's how that happens. But uh, what was I what was I doing here? Okay, so okay, 1961. She I don't know how to pronounce her name, so I'm just gonna. I'm just going to call her, I'm just going to call her Aretha, like Aretha Franklin. <laughs> Aretha filed for divorce. <laughs> Urethra Franklin. <laughs> okay, so anyway, she, she filed for divorce as his mental instability was worsening. So, okay, she was like, she, even she got fucking tired of it. And she's like, yeah, this guy's crazy and nuts and trying to kill us. So she filed for divorce. Alan and his brother were from that time raised by their mother and stepfather and blah 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 okay it's all getting pretty boring he got bullied anyway 
uh let's read about like like who he is i mean he's a musician although we'll we'll say that but he he, uh he is he's done a lot so by the mid to late 1980s alan was an alcoholic and generally abused any drugs provided to him cool (laughs) alan first defecated on stage in 1985 at a show in peoria illinois according to fellow this isn't isn't even about jesus christ right this is about this is about wait this is about jesus christ alan yeah okay i thought you were still talking about his dad no (laughs) that guy's probably fucking way dead at this point but anyway Allen took a shit on stage in his performance in Illinois, blah, 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 according to fellow performer Bloody Mess. I was with him when he, uh, when he bought the x law. <laughs> he fucking bought laxatives so he could do this. <laughs> I was with him when he bought the x lax Unfortunately, he ate it hours before the show, so he constantly had to hold it in or he would have just shit before he got on stage. After he shit on stage, complete chaos broke out in the hall. All of the old men in charge of the hall went fucking nuts. Hundreds of confused punk kids were flipping out, running out the door because the, s- the smell was incredible. In all caps. INCREDIBLE. I don't, that's not the word that, I would use. That makes it, yeah, that makes it sound like it's good. Alan idolized country music legend Hank Williams and saw him as a kindred spirit. Fuck, that's really weird. <laughs> Both were relative loners and outsiders. Both were habitual users of intoxicants. Both lived with few, if any, possessions, and both traveled the country relentlessly. Alan's acoustic output document. Okay, blah blah blah. I just, I just, I don't give a fuck about any of that. Uh, he began performing all the blah blah blah. I'm just, I'm trying to cycle through the not boring shit. Oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> he wrote to and visited John Wayne Gacy in prison a number of times, and Gacy painted a portrait of Alan, which became the album cover to the soundtrack of the film Hated. G.G. Allen and the Murder Junkies. G.G. Allen and the Murder Junkies was the name of his band. Uh, if you're wondering if their music was any good, the answer is no. <laughs> it's really, really, really bad. I know that music is subjective, but G.G. Allen's music is, is like subjectively fucking torture. <laughs> like, Okay, in late 1989, Allen was arrested and charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm less than murder of a female acquaintance in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Wait, what the fuck? Jesus. In a psychological evaluation, he was judged as having at least average intelligence and was described as courteous, cooperative, and candid. Okay. Man, this guy is fucking hard to read. He, he, he'll, he'll be shitting on stage with laxatives and then, like, buying weapons to, like, beat the shit out of some chick and and then he gets pulled over by the cops and he's just like, yeah, it's cool. Hey guys, we're all friends here. All right. Uh, what else we got here? Final days. Uh, after his release from prison, he skipped parole to do another tour. Uh, footed. Okay. The film contained graphic scenes from a performance he gave at a rock club. Uh, a heavily intoxicated Alan stripped naked, defecated on the floor, wiped his feces on himself, and threw feces into the audience. Man, this guy is just a master of shit. He's like he's like the dung eater from Elden Ring. All right, what else we got here? Is your is your microphone still alive? Yeah, I had to plug it back in. My bad. Nice. Did you kick it, it, it just like ran me? Out to, no, it just ran out of charge. Damn. I, all right. G.G. Allen's... La- okay, here's where things get crazy. So, uh, this is the death section of the article. G.G. Allen's last show was on June 27th, 1993 at a small club called <laughs> The Gas Station. <laughs> Are we sure this was a club or was, was this just like an honest-to-God gas station? Um... All right, uh, punk venue located. Blah, blah, blah. In a first-hand account by Michael Bowling, the show ended after three songs when a melee broke out. Alan ended up outside, leading a group of fans through the neighborhood. Uh, Bowling continued his recount of the event after the show. After walking the streets for almost an hour, Alan eventually went to Johnny Puke's apartment. <laughs> there he and 
he and others continued to party and use drugs along with Johnny Puke. Uh, Allen ingested large amounts of heroin on which he overdosed and slipped into an unconscious state. So he died of heroin after having like a big giant shit party. <laughs> I should mention that the Wikipedia article is omitting lots of fucked up details about his, his death, but they're mostly, like, poop-related. So, yeah, that's the story of Poop Man. G.G. G. G. Allen, born Jesus Christ Allen. I feel like you've told me about this before. I probably have. But you know what they say... Quack quack! I, that didn't fucking work at all. God damn it! This soundboard. Do we? Is are these are these the only six sound options? They are. That sucks. I guess maybe you could import new soundboards to. Di <gasps> Whoa! What am I thinking? I could probably import soundboards to this thing. I'm just always finding out new reasons why this show fucking sucks, all the time, and I'm debunking it. I'm getting to the bottom of it. I'm doing it like the Dickens. I'm bending it like Beckham. I am... Eventually, we're going to soar through the ranks of podcast glory. I mean, right now we're slithering with the snakes, but eventually we're going to be soaring with the fucking eagles. And this is exactly what it takes. Was that inspirational or what? Yeah, I liked it. <laughs> I just came up with that. I really did. I'm proud. So, are you going to... Go ahead. Are you going to vote for Obama? Uh, I don't know who that is. I'll tell you what. Once you realize that you don't have to sleep anymore, your mind goes wide open. I... Are you okay, Cody? Have you not been sleeping? Actually, uh, there was like a a good stretch earlier this week where I went like 36 hours without sleeping. Not on purpose, but just because I didn't have an opportunity to sleep. I just kept having to do shit. I was like, oh, God. And then when I finally did sleep, it was probably the most fucking crazy shit of all time. I just, I, I laid there and I thought that I was going to sleep for like 12 hours, but I slept for six and I, I just woke up and I was like, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of evidence to support that like going really long times without sleep can actually like crack your brain and give you schizophrenia. One time back in high school, I went about three days without sleeping and I was borderline like, I, like, it, I don't, I didn't have, like, hallucinations as in, like, seeing shit that wasn't there, but I just remember the slightest little fucking thing could startle me. It was so weird. I remember, like, I walked outside to, like, go do something, and as I was walking outside, I looked over, and for some reason, I got the biggest jump scare from a parked car. <laughs> I just <laughs> looked over and was like, <gasps> <laughs> car time. That's what my brain. That's what my brain said. Hey, it's car time. <laughs> <laughs> Why does your brain have its own like separate voice that's not yours? Uh, that's not what my. That's definitely not my brain voice. I mean, it was at that point when I'm like all fucking tired and stupid. And at the time, I was probably like. I'd probably been on some kind of, like, a bender, knowing the the type of person I was at the time. I was, I'd probably just been hanging out all day and night with bad people, doing bad shit. But, that's okay. One of these days on the Big Boy District, I, I'll talk about it. It'll, it'll be a really in-depth topic, because there, there, there's a lot, there's a lot of st uh, good stories that came from back then. And I can tell them in a really light-hearted way. With the power of hindsight. Even though sometimes it wasn't so positive. Mm, the life is positive. 
So I got about five minutes left before I got to head out. Do you have any other uh, topics here? Let me see here. Um, I actually do, but I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to fucking, I guess, pick one. I, I think I already talked about this, actually, but I'm, I'm really excited for this Metal Gear Solid uh, Snake Eater remake that's coming out. I don't even know when it's coming out, but I'm really fucking excited because Snake Eater is one of my absolute favorite games ever, ever. So when they fucking remake that shit and it's on PS5 with like modern fucking technology, oh my god, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. I cannot fucking wait for that. Me neither, even though I probably won't play it, I don't play very many remakes. I would recommend it, especially if you haven't played the original, because like it's a good way to like play a game. Because, you know, the controls are all modern, everything's all sleek, and it's all kind of set up to where you don't have to, like... Cause a lot of the time, the problem with replaying, like, older games is you have to get... You have to, like, learn the controls, and you have to kind of learn to wrestle with the controls because they're old and awkward. So when they remake a game, like, that's, you know, they can, they can be like, yeah, we'll put a whole new coat of paint on it, put uh, really, really good graphics, really, really good frame rate... And then we'll make the movement feel good, and we'll make we'll make the player actually feel like they're controlling a fluid character <laughs> that does what they want, instead of you know kind of shitty older inputs that don't feel as good. It's weird because I I thought that the uh, the remake trend was was really gonna suck at first, but we we've kind of I don't know like a, a lot of this a lot of the remakes they just they do a really good job. Like the Dead Space remake. I fucking loved that. It was, it was very... I, I really... I don't think I've really played any remakes except for, like, the Master Chief collection. Yeah, we played the, quite a bit of the Resident Evil 4 remake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, um... Fucking... I'm trying to think. Yeah, I played that and the Dead Space remake. I, I, don't, I think that's kind of it. They're, they, I don't know. I think they, they do get carried away with it sometimes because you just see on Twitter where it's like, all right, Final Fantasy remake number 20. And it's it's kind of like, dude, okay. But when they do a good job, I'll, I'll totally, I'll devour that shit. It seems to be horror games that get really good remakes for some reason. Yeah. I mean, it does make sense to remake some games just because like graphics and like controls have evolved and whatnot you know what i mean yeah as long as like they still capture what was good about the original and sometimes they don't there are some remakes that actually are, are just shitty but i don't know i'm pretty hyped for the for fucking metal gear solid triangle snake eater i don't know what they mean by the triangle <laughs> Well, I have probably better get off of here. I gotta go pick my friend up. Same. Actually, I don't... Not yet, but yeah. I I have to eat. That's what I have to do. I have to do all sorts of fucking planning shit. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is probably gonna be the end of this episode. Kind of a shorter episode. I know that this episode was supposed to be for women, and it's shorter. And that's not because... We're we're judging you on your attention span or anything like that. All right, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's gonna be the end, everyone. Thank you for listening. Uh, I feel like we we covered a lot of ground in very little time, so that's pretty good. I'm almost trying to drag this out because it's almost at the 50 minute mark, but fuck it, we'll just leave it. Thanks for listening, everyone. We'll see you next time on the next episode of Big Black. Dingolingus. <laughs>